Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I came out to this little fun spot here that I haven't flown in a while. And I brought my Sub-250. I made a couple of changes to this thing. Man, it flies so much better now. So I tweaked the, uh, the props I'm using. I'm now going to use these HQ props. These are HQ durable props, three by five by three. And I swapped the motors that I had. It's basically the same KV, same size of motor, but these are the uh, Eco, Emax Eco motors. These are 1407, 4100 KV, and I'm running them on 3S. And this thing definitely feels much more like my 5-inch did. I mean, very much like my 5-inch did, so it's pretty cool. Um, I like it. Not exactly the same, but uh, in a lot of ways, it's a little bit better um, for a few things. It's a little touchy in a few few ways so um it's definitely got more punch and stuff but it carries a lot better the weight feels a lot better with it it's basically the same way as a few grams heavier it's still under 250 it's like 240 233 to 240 depending on which battery i, I put on there um so anyways i wanted to show you a little bit today about the hc0 1080p 30. um i posted a video the other day and you all saw how terrible the breakup was and I had some comments um some people thought I had a lot of noise from electrical noise or whatever. You know, I had some people think that. And, you know, your range should have been better, blah, blah, blah. State, you know, so on and so forth. Well, just to kind of prove the point. Same drone, same setup, little dipole. Um, I think I'm running 200 milliwatts here. And this environment here, definitely more open um, than standing inside. But even when I was standing outside of the garage there, you all saw tons of noise when I wasn't very far from myself. So just to make the point that RF, even on different frequencies and stuff, can make a huge difference. I'm going to fly here. I'm going to show you some footage here, and we'll talk a little bit about it um, while, while I'm showing you this footage. So this environment, much more clean as far as RF because there's not a bunch of houses all around blasting their Wi-Fi everywhere, and God knows what else other you know, RF going on um, around there. We have a cell tower that's very close to where we're at, you know, tons and tons of noise in that area. So you can see here, much cleaner uh, video. In fact, hardly any breakup, I mean a little bit, but hardly any breakup flying around here and flying all the way around down behind little trees and stuff, you know, through the, the metal and, and all of that kind of stuff. So a much better scenario for the setup now granted i'm not you know doing bando you know penetration all that kind of stuff um i don't really typically fly that kind of area but i think this would still do better as long as you didn't have a lot of excess rf noise um factoring in as long as you position yourself in in a good way it's funny i remember videos from before way back i can remember drew even making a video way back talking about you know finding the optimal position for the location to be able to fly it and stuff you know and nobody talks about that now because of the way that the the dji systems the walk now walk snail systems where they retry everything and do that you um you don't plan for that stuff as much i don't think nobody seems to talk about it although there are cases where it will fail even the fact that it retries i was just talking to my buddy dave um yesterday and we were talking about that and there was a spot that we used to fly and there was a particular place if he would fly to that particular place and it wasn't that it was very far or anything or that there was even that much obstruction it was just the way that it was he would get like really bad signal and i mean he couldn't go there with his with his dgi setup so it's crazy you know i mean it's just um this stuff is all rf it's not magic you know digital and analog and you know all these they all are over rf so there's tons of noise and noise in different ways affects things differently depending on how the system you know sends the data and if it resends it and, and all those sorts of things how it interpolates it um you know how it uses its antennas and and whatnot um my buddy dave he would say that there were his dji system did better when he seemed to have if he was behind stuff if he had another wall for things to kind of bounce off of um and i don't know if that's true or not but it seemed to be the case you know at least anecdotally that was the case for him and if he didn't have that then he couldn't go in a lot of areas like if he had a lot of walls on either side of him he seemed to do better and that might just be the way that dji is handling the the signal coming back and how it how it does stuff i don't know 
you know, or how the radio transmission can get back. If it's got something to bounce off of, it can bounce back to the, uh, the receiver. I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy watching all this footage here. I will leave you with the last little bit and maybe a little, little music. And I um, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.